All right, 15 years ago, tragedy in the Indian Ocean as a 9.1 magnitude earthquake triggers a massive tsunami devastating parts of Thailand, Sri Lanka, and Indonesia, taking the lives of thousands. Supermodel Petra Nemkova and her fiancé Simon were there on a Christmas vacation, as were many. Petra survived, but her fiancé was less fortunate. The last thing um, I've heard was just Simon screaming, Petra, Petra. And I saw... Um, bungalow, a roof of a bungalow, and I, I, I thought maybe if we catch the roof, then we will be able to hold on to it and, um, and keep some kind of balance. And so I, I told him, catch the roof, catch the roof, and that was the last moment I saw him. That was my interview with Petra Nemkova back in 2005. As a result of her ordeal, she established a charity, All Hands on Hearts, dedicated to helping those who survive natural disasters. Yeah. And on the final day of our series, Storming Back, we highlight the charity she founded and the work they continue to do to this day with hurricane survivors. Joining this morning is the CEO of that charity, Eric Dyson. Eric, thank you for being with us this morning. Now, your work spans the globe. Tell us about, though, the progress and relief efforts that you have made with those who had to suffer through Hurricane Michael. Yeah, um, so as you mentioned, it's been a, a very busy year for us around the world. And with uh, Hurricane Michael specifically, you know, we saw some tremendous needs down in North Carolina with folks that really needed to have um, some someone step in and give them give them a hand. Uh, it's been a, about a year and a half since Maria in Puerto Rico. Uh, what kind of steps have you taken uh, to help them out? Uh, so Puerto Rico has been a really challenging situation. Um, you see a situation where people are in de just desperate needs. And uh, we decided quickly that the best way to help folks there was to go in and help them get back their homes with regard to getting them safe roofs. Um, because as you can imagine, after the hurricane, most of the damage was caused by the winds taking off people's roofs down in, down in Puerto Rico. So we dedicated ourselves to working on repairing roofs in a safe and resilient manner and have worked now. We've helped over 500 families in the last year and a half and have a plan to stay through the rest of this year with another 200, 250 families to be helped. So is that why you, what you guys mainly do is physically rebuild homes for people? For instance, you know, it's been over five months uh, from Florence in North Carolina and you know, you're rebuilding there. Do you guys just physically build homes or do you do other things as well? Most of the United States, we do homes. Um, around the world, we also look at other, other community structures, um, do a lot of schools, as you mentioned, you know, Petra, when she began, was focused on schools. So we're doing that kind of work in Nepal and Mexico today. Also work on community centers, health posts, wherever there's a physical need in the community and we can use our model of leveraging volunteers to come in, we do that and then therefore um, give that support. In terms of disasters, uh, let's just stick with the U.S. for, for this discussion. Uh, which are the ones that are most challenging? Which types? Um, it, hurricanes are easier to deal with in the sense because they're predictable. You know, you know they're coming. Uh, folks like you give us a lot of, of, of sort of advance notice. So those are easier. Once we get into things like earthquakes and also flooding, those are very difficult. And, and also on the flooding side, many times that's um, damage that happens that's not necessarily so obvious because you have the waters rise and impact, you know, thousands of homes. Um, last year with Hurricane Harvey, for example, while there was a lot of water that came in, um, really the biggest damage was because of the floods, not necessarily due to the fact of the high winds. So yeah. um, those are the kinds of events that go a bit underreported or forgotten about very quickly. And, you know, that kind of work takes five or more years mm -hmm. to really get back and, and to the homes in a safe place. We only have about 30 seconds left. So if someone wanted to volunteer with the organization, where do you do that? What type of volunteers do you guys need? Um, so we welcome people of all walks of life, whether you're 50 years old or 20 years old. And you can come to our website, allhandsandhearts.org, and we have all our projects listed up there. You can come and click on whichever one that um, interests you most. And we really need folks out there, especially in places like North Carolina, like Coastal Bend, Texas, mm -hmm. where there isn't as much um, obvious um, sort of uh, media support today because it's been a year, year and a half yeah. on. But the work is still clearly very, very, very needed. All right, All right Eric CEO Dyson. Eric Dyson, yeah. thank you uh, for talking to us this morning.